exactly where we've swung and, and have been since we've popped the hood. Even though it's a slow drag, you know, it, it, it'll drag a little bit to catch again, but, but that could break free and we could just be, you know, drag that all the way out to deep water where they ain't growing it to be on the bottom. I mean, it, it, it's a serious thing out here. If the Cornelia Marie continues to drift into deeper waters, the rising tension on the anchor chain could be enough to break it off from the boat, leaving them no alternative but to jog through the storm. No, I take Mother Nature very seriously. That's why I'm still around. As soon as these guys are ready, I'm going to haul the anchor. Two and a half inch thick steel cable snaps. It can easily kill any man standing at the bow. Yeah, it's a little stormy. Just enough to keep the bugs away, though. While hauling in the anchor, the line jams. And to make matters worse, the Cornelia Marie has only 10 feet of slack left in the chain. The cable got hit in between the roller and the, and the side mounts. Hey, we got to be careful with this thing. Go water. side of a pulley. If the cable is not dislodged, the weight of the drag can break the anchor off. Corey will attempt to free the cable by hand, while Murray engages the 198-ton boat in gear to try and relieve the tension on the line. We're going to try to get the cable out of the side of the wall right now. I'm, I'm trying to get this thing straight around so that it uh, on the other side. successfully hauled in. Continues for the deadliest catch. 